Hi everyone, I am Lohit S of 11B. So, my topic is about forensic science. Well, it's not going to be scary. I have tried to give an introduction to forensic science in this presentation. Before going to the topic, leave in the comment box how many of you like forensic science. First, let us see the definition of forensic science. Forensic science is the use of science and technology to enforce civil and criminal laws. It is vague and hard to define because it includes so many other areas in science. Next, we are going to see about history and development of forensic science. Forensic comes from the Latin word forensis, meaning forum. The history of the term originates from the Roman times when a criminal charge meant presenting the case before a group of public individuals in the forum. Both the person accused of the crime and the accuser would give speeches based on their sides of the story. The case would be de decided in favor of the individual with the best argument and delivery. From here, we will see some personalities. First of them, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. He is none other than the author of everyone's favorite thriller story, Sherlock Holmes. He is a science fiction writer in the late 1800s. He popularized scientific crime detection methods through his fictional character Sherlock Holmes. Next, Matthew Orfila. He is the father of toxicology. What does mean by toxicology? Toxicology is a study of poisons. He wrote about the detection of poison and their effect on animals. Next, Alphonse Bertillon. He is the father of anthropometry. What is anthropometry? Anthropometry is the study of measurements of body parts. He developed a system that distinguished one person from the another. Next, Francis Galton. He is the father of fingerprinting. Next, Lionel Lattice. He is the father of bloodstain identification. He is the first one to determine blood type from the bloodstain. Next, Albert Osborne. He is the father of document examination. His work led the acceptance of document as evidence in court. J. Edgar Hoover. He is the father of Federal Bureau of Investigation. He is the director of Federal Bureau of Investigation in 1930s. He is the first one to start National Laboratory in the U.S. Edmond Lockett. He is the father of Crime Lab. He is the first one to start the Crime Lab. Here are some crime scene vocabulary crime scene crime scene is any physical location in which a crime is occurred it is of two types primary crime scene and secondary crime scene primary crime scene is the original location secondary crime scene is the location where additional evidence is found suspect suspect is a person thought to be capable of committing a mistake accomplice he is a person associated with suspect Alibi. Alibi is a statement of where a suspect was at the time of crime. There are three types of evidence. Testimonial, physical, trace. Testimonial evidence tells about the oral or written statements. Physical evidence tells about the material items that are collected in the crime scene. Trace evidence gives the hair strands, cells, etc. present in the crime scene. Crime scene personnel. Police officers, crime scene investigation unit, district attorney, medical examiner, specialist, detective, detectives. These six officers are important for crime scene. Next, we are going to see about crime scene protocol. First, interview. The CSA unit will interview the suspect and the members present in the crime scene. Next, examine. They will examine the crime scene and find the evidences document they will list out the evidences according to their types next process they will next go to the investigation process securing the crime scene officers to respond are responsible for securing the crime scene victims show signing signs of life's emergency personnel are called victims who are dead are left untouched rigor mortis gives clue to the time of death Rigor mortis is nothing but stiffening of joint. Lividity, it's nothing but discoloration of skin after death. Crime scene. Preliminary observation and interviews will be done. Victims are quarantined and questioned. Area must be searched. 
Initial officers must be interviewed. Scene must be described in a report. All items must be measured and photographed. Collecting evidence from crime scene. The CSA unit will analyze the evidence and determine the truth. Don't make a theory. This makes one try to make the evidence fit a story. Instead, let the story fit the evidence. Determining cause of death. The medical examiner make preliminary appraisal of cause of death. If death is unnatural, an autopsy is ordered. After that, medical examiner pronounce the cause of death. Retrieving victim. The CSA unit will cover the head, hand, feet with plastic bag. The body is wrapped in a sheet and placed in a white body bag. The rooms of autopsy will be in 3 degrees Celsius to prevent the decomposition of body. Determining time of death. Rigor mortis. It is a stiffening of joint. It takes place 30 minutes to 3 hours after death. Lividity. It is a discoloration of skin and it takes place 6 hours after the death for full effect. Do you know an average corpse cooled down 1 degree every hour? Locard exchange principle. Every contact leaves a trace. The Locard exchange principle states that with contact between two items, there will be exchange. Example, if burglars leave, will leave trace as well as take traces they know. Here are some evidence examples. Paint, glass, explosive, ballistics. Ballistics is nothing but the launching of guns from which they will find the speed of the gun. Dust and dirt, fingerprints, shoe prints, bite marks, DNA, skeletal remains, body fluids, hairs, etc. What evidence would you collect from this picture? Please leave it in the comment box. I thank our principal ma'am and teachers.